Hey guys, so today we are going to be doing a cosmetic company store haul with store information. One of you had asked me if all the cosmetic company's doors were the same. No, they are not. Um, I have been to two different ones now and the layout is the same. What they offer you is different. It's different stock at each store and the way that they have it set up is quite different. Um, the one that I went to the other day had a section that said 75% off and it was a bunch of different brands of things, products that were 75% off. And then they had another section for the Mac that had shelves with specific eyeshadows and pots that were five dollars each because you guys asked me if there was a five dollar Mac eyeshadow section at every store and from what I can see there is but it's just the layout and the way they have it organized is different and another thing that was different was the propan eyeshadows at the store that I normally go to are all five dollars but the one I went to the other day I said are all the propane eyeshadows five dollars and she said no they're all different prices I said well that doesn't make any sense because I went to a different store where they were all five dollars she said oh well I don't set the prices she was kind of snooty and um, so that does not make sense to me. Why would they be different prices at different stores, like locations? Because all the stores are um, the same company. Cosmetic Company Store is owned by Estee Lauder. And so all the products that are in that store are Estee Lauder brands. You have Estee Lauder, you have MAC Cosmetics, you have Smashbox, you have Too Faced, you have Tom Ford, you have skincare brands, perfume brands, it's any brand that is owned by Estee Lauder. So it doesn't make sense to me that at one location all the MAC Pro Pan eyeshadows would be five dollars and at another location they would be different prices depending on which ones they are. So I didn't end up getting any of the Pro Pan ones because I thought there was something very fishy about that and there was no way I was going to pay more than five dollars for any of those when I didn't feel like that was correct. So all the ones that I bought were the pro pan, um, the pot ones that were on the shelves where they were five dollars because they do have things at different price points. They have some that are not five dollars for the pots and then um, some that are more some that are five and some that are more expensive and if that's the case with the pro pan ones then put them on different boards because they have them all on a board and it would be easier for the customer if they would organize them by price if that's the case. I mean maybe the other CCO that I went to doesn't happen to have any of the more expensive ones for ProPan or if they do maybe they have theirs organized differently I don't know. But anyways um, another thing that was different was I've been shopping at CCOs for many, many years and have never gotten anything for free and have spent a lot of money. And the other day, I got a couple of free items at one of the locations that I went to. I was really surprised. I came home and I opened up my package and I saw a couple of little tiny things wrapped up separately. And I was like, what's this? And what I got was, um, I got like a sample of Origins Mega Mushrooms Relief Resilience Skin Care. And I did try this. And while I like how it feels on my skin and what it does, I don't like that it's very heavily fragranced with like perfume because that's not a good idea to put perfume in skincare because it can be irritating to a lot of people's skin. I have super sensitive skin that I have a lot of problems with breakouts and rashes and reactions to things. So 
Now I'm kind of afraid to use this because it's so heavily fragranced. Speaking of fragrance, the other free item that I got was a sample of Jo Malone perfume. And this is called uh, Barley and Poppy. And so I looked up the information for this and it said that it had rose and violet notes in it. And of course, poppy is also a flower, so it's a floral scent. Now, I normally hate floral scents, and I have a lot of allergies to flowers, so I was kind of afraid to try it because I didn't want to get, because uh, I have actually had situations where I've gotten migraines from smelling perfumes at a store, and uh, I just was feeling very adventurous and daring that day. And I used it and did not make me sick, did not make me sneeze, didn't get a headache. Um, and as floral scents go, it doesn't smell especially floral to me. Um, I mean, you can tell that there's floral extracts in it, but that isn't the first thing that you think of when you smell it. I can't even describe it's got to be the barley aspect of it that by mixing that with the floral scent um, that I think kind of tampers down the floral part of it. But it lasted a long time. It's one of those fragrances that when you spray it on, it stays with you and it doesn't fade quickly. So I had never tried a Jo Malone fragrance before, so I was pretty impressed with this. Um, so that was nice to get a couple of free things. Now I spent $37 that day and I think that was the, I think $35 was the cutoff point and I think that's why I got those two free things because I think it, you had to spend 35 or more. And then if you spent a hundred or more, you got, you know, a bunch of cool stuff, but the, the promotions are different, I think, on different days and in different locations, so you just have to talk to the people that work there to let you know about that. Okay, so what did I get? I got six pot-style eyeshadows. And let's talk first about two of the ones that I'm wearing. Okay, the first one I want to talk about is what is on my lids, and this is called Starry Night. And it's a frost finish, but this is a duochrome because it has a plummy brown base to it, and then it has blue-green shimmer on the surface. So if you look at my eyes and I tilt my head, you can see that it shifts with the duochrome. Uh, you can see the plum base, but you can also see the blue-green shimmer, depending on the angle that I hold my head. So I was pretty surprised because MAC does not have many duochromes at all in their lineup. So I was very happy to try this because you know I love duochromes and multichromes. So I was very excited about that. Now I also have this, this is called Storm Watch, and it's a teal matte. And what I did was I dragged this along my lower lash line. I also have a black eyeliner on the waterline, but then I dragged this and um, blended this into the black eyeliner. So that's how I used that. And then while we're on the subject here, I also got Steamy, which has been around forever. It's like a teal frost. Is it a frost? Yes. It's a teal frost. This is, uh, this shade has been around, yeah, for as long as I can remember, but it's very pretty. And then I didn't get this today. Um, I got this in my last MAC haul, but the other shade that I have on in the crease and outer corner is Sketch, which is a matte burgundy, I would say, or plum, 
plum slash burgundy slash berry shade. And uh, I thought that this would go good with that Stormwatch shade because the uh, Stormwatch shade has a very similar color to this as a base. So I thought that coordinated nicely together. So I have sketch on, but it wasn't part of this haul. And then I also got three browns. I got espresso, which is a matte brown, pretty, pretty dark. I got saddle, which is also a matte brown, but it's, you know, lighter and very, very warm. And I got uninterrupted, which is, speaking of interrupted, the trash guy's out there picking up the garbage right now, so sorry if you can hear that. It's trash and recycle day, so there's a lot of buckets being moved around out there. Yeah, sorry. Oh, there goes the recycle stuff. I just heard the glass. Um, uninterrupted. This is life, people. Things, things you're gonna, you're gonna hear this stuff. Uninterrupted, which is a mat, and you know what? This is not that much different than saddle. Let's compare. Wow, that's quite similar. Um, uninterrupted is more of a mustardy brown, I would say. Saddle is more of a true brown. And then espresso is cooler and darker. So I'm definitely all set for brown because I already had a couple of other browns too. So that's what I got in my Mac haul. And on my lips is um, Hard Candy Lip Liner in Tormenta. This came out with the Halloween collection this year, and I thought that would coordinate nicely with this eye look. I lined and filled in my lips with this. And um, it's a it's a plum, a plummy burgundy berry type shade, warm. And um, because of the color of my lips, that's why it doesn't look like this on my lips because my lips are so pigmented that they alter the color of every lip liner and lipstick that I wear with them. And then I did um, the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush in Berry, and then I put a little bit of Jeffree Star Icy Execution Highlighter across the top of my cheekbones. Um, and then, I did, like I said, I just have a black eyeliner on my waterline. By the way, I wanted to give you a follow-up on something that I talked about in my last video, this brow pencil Omega that I got that same day at the CCO, um, it's very hard to deposit the color. You have to keep going over and over and over it. And it, so it takes a lot longer to get the color to adhere because if you look at my brows today, you can see towards the beginning, it's not as prominent as it should be. And that's because I just kept going over and over it and it wasn't depositing any color there. So I think I'm actually better off using the Omega eyeshadow because then I can get it more even and I can do it a lot faster. So I was happy to get this and it's easier to use, but it just takes more effort more time. So mm, I'm kind of have mixed feelings about this, but I did get a good deal on it for sure. Um, it was $5 and change for that. So if you have any questions about the CCOs, um, let me know. I'd be happy to answer them. They're always in outlet malls. I can tell you that. And sometimes outlet malls are outdoors. Sometimes they're indoors. It just depends on the location. Like, I like to go to the CCO in Connecticut when I'm down there at Foxwoods. That's an indoor mall, which is a lot um, better, like especially in the winter time. Um, but the one that the other one that I go to is closer to me, and it's at an outdoor mall, so I don't go there that much this time of year because it's just too damn cold outside. 
So um, yeah, if you have any specific questions that I can answer, I'd be happy to do so. So that is my cosmetic company store haul and with information. And I hope you enjoyed that. And if you like this sort of video, you know what to do. Um, thank you so much for being here. Bye.